Hi, I'm Alex, and today we're going to be installing the Coolance Reservoir and Pump. This is a drop-in unit. It's model RP1000BK. The BK means it's in black. So let's take a look at what's inside. And basically, this is a five and a quarter inch device. Looks like a CD-ROM or any type of drive bay like this. And it's five and a quarter inch across. And basically it has the reservoir at the top. This is where you put in your coolant. And it's got a nice easy screw at the top to put the water in. And on the back, we've got several connectors. There are three temperature, uh, uh, temperature gauges, a couple of fan connectors, a Molex four pin power connector, and most importantly, the in nozzle and the out. So basically this is where the water will go into the unit and this is where the water is going to be coming out of the unit. Now inside, I don't want to open it up yet, but inside is basically a pump, which pumps the water in and out of this unit, and a couple of electronic devices. So that's pretty much all this unit is for. And basically the way it will work is that it will sit right inside, just like so, as, as, a, tip, as a regular drive, just like that. And you can see the, the water will be here visible because there's going to be a little light inside and it's going to show you the water level so you can see if you have not enough water or if there's a water leak or something like that and there's going to be a lot of LED lights here that show the temperature and the fan speed and a bunch of other indicators but that's basically how this unit uh, works and this is an internal unit as opposed to an external one for much larger applications so that's pretty much it for the drop-in unit so uh, please stay tuned for the next video where I'm actually going to connect all of these disparate devices with tubing and nozzles. So thanks for watching, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.